Hi, I'm Scott Stein, and I'm here with my friend, Furby. Now, hard to believe that it's been 14 years since the original Furby came out, making it a retro toy. In 1998, the Furby became a sensation. Now it's 2012, and Hasbro is re-releasing the still very loud and very needy Furby, but in a new form. A little more roboticized with more sensors and eyes that are lit up LCD screens instead of the sort of Mogwai-like animatronic ones uh, there were before. Now, as you can see, sometimes it <laughs> rolls over as a mind of its own. And there's no off switch on the Furby, uh, which was always a positive and negative, depending on who used it. It's definitely something you have to take care of, or it seems like you're taking care of. It speaks gibberish at first in this furbish language that can be translated and will eventually speak English further down the line. There are um, a, a bunch of different personalities, and sometimes you wonder whether it's uh, making you talk or you're making it talk. There is a built-in microphone, and in addition, yes, there is an iOS app, of course. There will be an iPhone and iPad app that will translate automatically what the furbish is that's being said and enable you to speak to it in furbish, plus you'll be able to make a variety of foods and feed them to Furby. The Furby's coming out this fall and costing around $60. Uh, this is the very first look that we've seen of a surprisingly charming but very noisy toy. Now, here's some advice. Put it in a dark drawer um, if you want it to be quiet and sleep for a while, but it will make you feel a little bit guilty. I'm Scott Stein, and that's a look at the next Furby from Hasbro. Now you're silent?